We had oh, high hopes. We oh, had what I just oh, got. high hopes. We had oh, high hopes. <laughs> no. <laughs> so if you're living under a rock, you would have missed that AFL 23 came out yesterday and essentially the game was broken. <laughs> Obviously, I went into Big Ant the week before and played two games or two and a half games. It was it was fine. Like the handballing and tackling was still a little bit iffy. I, I didn't know whether that was because I didn't know the controls or not. But the game felt like it ran okay. And I, and I feel like in my video last week, it looked like it played all right. So because I've only played like a couple of games and it was really just to show you guys gameplay, I haven't really sunk my teeth into the game yet. So I was so toey for the release on Thursday, only to be sort of shocked that the game was essentially broken. I couldn't hit a handball at all. I couldn't tackle. If you had the footy, you could run end to end without the AI tackling you at all. And probably the worst part of it all is my game just kept like glitching. Like the error would come up halfway through the first quarter and kick me off my PlayStation. Oh man, it was just such a, such a disappointing day at the office. I was looking forward to making content um, and my career mode and, and whatnot. And I'm still bullish that I'm going to be able to do that. But uh, I just had to put the PlayStation away for the afternoon. Even though there was like talks that patches were coming and it was going to get fixed. It was one of those days where you, you couldn't persevere through it. You just had to park it for the afternoon. And I just feel so bad for everyone involved. Obviously, I got to go through Big Ant last week and I got the tour. And everyone was working really, really hard on it. And there was like a big staff and they were really dedicated. So something's obviously gone wrong. Like this, this is obviously a mistake or or a glitch or it's, or it's broken because there's no way this game would have ever come out if it was this broken, if that makes sense. So I feel for everyone who's worked hard on it at Big Ant. I feel for the kids that, you know, were so excited to play it on Thursday. They've been towy for it. They race home from school and it just sort of breaks on them. And I also feel for the immature 27 year olds with a beard and a blue cap who wanted to play it all afternoon yesterday. Man, some of the the glitches were hilarious though. Like Adam Simpson was the goal umpire. Uh, a Reece Shaw lookalike was coaching the Bombers. Bailey Fritch had a shot from 30 out. Absolutely scrubbed the kick and it still went through. Some bloke tried taking a mark and it came off hands and went 50 rows back. There was an interchange bench in the middle of the oval. <laughs> and then I saw Triple Wafer take that image and make it the front cover of AFL 23. So I'm glad that we're sort of getting through this together with humor uh, because it was, yeah, a pretty disappointing and, and frustrating day at the office. Now I'm gonna try and go glass half full. The animations, the cut scenes and the graphics are pretty good, like really good, I'd say. So if we just had the brokenness out of the game and the brokenness should never have been in the release and whatnot, um, and something's obviously gone wrong, but if it wasn't broken, I feel like it'd be an okay game or at least good enough to build off it. And I feel like that's the sentiment of a lot of like the core AFL video game fans. It's like, we've got something here. And if it wasn't completely broken, yesterday would have been elite. So I'm bullish that, you know, with some patches, <laughs> I don't even know what a patch is, but I've seen a lot of people in the forums and on Twitter saying patch this, patch that. But anyway, I'm bullish that with some patches, we're going to get a pretty good game. Like, I'm going to be able to make some content on it. I'm going to be able to play it online against friends. We're going to get a pretty good, basic AFL game. So I guess that's best case scenario. Like, if this wasn't a broken game and this is how it got released, we'd all be pretty disappointed, but it's clearly broken. And once it's not broken, we should get an okay game. Does that make any sense? Now, there was a couple of people that started commenting on my Instagram saying that I'm never negative on these games. And I'll just be really truthful about why I'm not um, is because I'm like a massive fan of them. So if you go on my PlayStation 3 or my PlayStation 4 and you went on to like time played on all the games, I don't know if it's possible, but if you did, the AFL games since I ever got my first PlayStation 2 be far and away the most games played out of any other game. Like I only really growing up played AFL 06, 05, 07, and FIFA. Like it was only those two and the AFL games I would play way more. So I've been through like really bad AFL games. Like AFL Live was really good. AFL Live 2 was like so glitchy and so horrible, but I would play career mode after career mode. I'd play it by myself. I'd play it all the time. I'd play AFL Live 2 all the time. And that was like 
a genuinely like broken game. Um, when AFL Evo came out, it's all I played. Like, and I know that that was like glitchy and broken and terrible, but I'm such a fan of AFL games and I love them so much that I'll play through no matter how broken they are. So sometimes people will say, oh, AFL games suck DOS and you're being disingenuous by not saying negative stuff about them. I think anyone who watches my videos know how much I enjoy these games and um, as I said it would be more disingenuous if I was just potting them because that's not actually how I feel about these AFL games. One of the funniest videos I saw yesterday was comedian and impressionist Cody Jones. Uh, he's a big AFL game fan. He was so excited to play it, had the day off work and um, obviously it kept glitching and the game was broken and this was his reaction to it and this literally I lost it when I saw this yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, I know, mate, because that's why I'm here washing my car instead of sitting at home on the couch playing the, but my brand new game that I paid $100 for. I mean, long gone are the days of buying a game knowing that it was completed. No game's ready. They're, they're selling games left, right and centre and none of them are ready. Every time I put Call of Duty in the PlayStation, I've got to do another 90 gigabyte update every week. Finish the game. It's not ready for sale. I mean... Bring back cartridges. At least you knew what you were getting. This game's finished. I don't have to piss around with it anymore. You thought we, uh, we got to do a pat because we, we... It's not ready. Just own it. You didn't complete your job on time. All right? Fix it because I want me 100 bucks back. So I'm like everyone else. I'm really toey to play some career. I really want to play some online. I want to make content on the, the video game. I'm not going to do it yet until it's fixed though. So like I was thinking about persevering and trying to bang out like a, a video in the last day or so, but I, I literally can't until it's fixed. Like my game keeps cutting out and whatnot. So um, there will be content on AFL 23 soon, but God, frustrating, frustrating day at the office for all involved. I feel for everyone, you know, as I said, I feel for everyone who's worked on it. I feel for everyone who's been waiting ages to play it. I think people who say it's frustrating because of the money they paid and whatnot, I, th I feel like they're entitled to say that. Um, <clears throat> there goes my plans for the weekend. I was hoping to tuck into some AFL 23, lock myself in my room and, <laughs> and just play it for 24 hours straight. But I'm going to have to go outside and, and see the sunlight and smell some fresh air and I'm spewing. I'm absolutely seething about that. So that's my sort of reaction and roundup of what happened yesterday. Uh, hopefully there's patches and whatnot soon and I, I can make some content on it. Uh, that'll be really fun. And I, I have no doubt that there will be. Uh, you know, it'll get fixed and we will have a good footy game soon. <laughs> Once again, guys, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone tuning in and I'll see you for some more content. Hopefully some AFL 23 content very soon. Cheers, guys.